Hey Traders Point kids, welcome back to the set of Dispatch Hope for our sixth week of Flash Forward. We are so glad that you've joined us online or with us live on set. Here at Dispatch Hope, we plan to show you the hope you can have in all situations when we follow Jesus. Today, we're going to look at the story of David from the Bible to help us learn how to obey God in all situations so that we can have hope. Check it out. From 42 Visionary Way, you're tuned in to the winner of 3120 Show of the Year, Dispatch Hope, starring your hosts, Silo and Nova. Thanks for tuning in to Dispatch Hope. Here on the show, we take some of our viewers' most hopeless situations and we send out hope to their future memory banks. But this is no ordinary talk show. We're using some of the year's most advanced technology so that viewers can not only hear about hope, but see into their bright and exciting futures. We've been dishing out hope on the air for the last 10 years. And in that time, we've been able to help over 7,000 people become pros in flashing forward. It's always so exciting when we get to help someone believe that God will do good things as they pray, remember, and obey. Pro, during each episode of the show, we have different segments, and one of those is called Five Second Rule. You heard that right. We're flashing back to one of the most popular games from the 2000s. This is a game that anyone can play, and it's super fun. We'll put a category up on the screen, and you'll see how many things in that category you can name in five seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. And while we're on the topic of pets, I want to introduce you all to someone very special to me. I call him Mr. Gillywaddles. Well, welcome to the show, Mr. Gillywaddles. There are so many exciting things happening around here at Hope Headquarters, but the most exciting is when we get to help someone believe that God will do good things. Oh, hey, it looks like we got a call coming to us via hover mail. I can't wait to help someone else become a pro. Let's check it out. Hey, Zyla. Hey, Nova. My name is Ro. I'm reaching out to you guys because I'm in some pretty big trouble and I have no idea what to do. Well, let me start from the beginning. Earlier this week, my mom told me that I had to clean my room before I could go to my best friend's birthday party this weekend. Well, the weekend got here and I had completely forgotten about what she had told me to do. So instead of telling my mom the truth, I lied to her about it. She took me to the party and on our way home, I felt so bad because I knew I had done the wrong thing. And the crazy thing is, this isn't the first time I've lied to my mom. But this time, I just feel so bad. I felt so bad that I actually cleaned my room as soon as I got home. I did that hoping my mom would never have to know that I lied to her about it and didn't obey. But I still feel bad about it. I know that I'll probably get in trouble if I tell the truth. But I might feel bad forever if I try to keep it a secret. What should I do, you guys? Wow, it sounds like this viewer's hope is running really low. We're gonna need a good bit of P-R-O. In case this is your first time tuning in, I want to make sure you know what we're talking about here. P-R-O is our futuristic formula that has proven to fill us and many others with hope. But before we go pro, we always take the time to flash back to God's word. Even though the technology is very advanced these days, there's one tool that remains timeless, and that's the Bible. A long time ago, they used to read the Bible on this stuff called paper. That made up what our ancestors called books. But these days, we have a way of flashing back in time and watching the Bible come to life in a brand new way. Here on the show, we're testing out the latest patching technology for the very first time. We're not quite sure if this will work, but we're going to see if we can show you what we're seeing. Okay, I'm getting word from our producers that the audience has been patched in. Yes, it's working. Accessing the story of David. Story successfully loaded. This is David. From the time he was a young boy, he did his best to obey God. God saw how David had a heart that wanted to do what was right, 
so he promised that he would make David king one day. While David was waiting on this promise from God to happen, he didn't give up on obeying, even when it was hard. One day his dad asked him to take some food to his older brothers who were out fighting in the Israelite army. He could have said no or waited until he felt like going, but David obeyed his dad right away. When he arrived at the battle lines, he heard a giant from the enemy army saying terrible things about God's people, the Israelites. Everyone was afraid of the giant, but with God's help, David took him down and saved God's people. Everyone was so excited and celebrated David for what he had done, but Saul, the king at the time, became jealous. From then on, King Saul did everything he could to kill David. So David had to live his life on the run, hiding in different places and trying his best not to get caught. One time, while David was hiding deep inside a cave, King Saul showed up. But Saul didn't know that David and some of his friends were hiding in there. David's friends told him that this was his chance to hurt Saul. But David knew that God says it's wrong to hurt others, so he obeyed God and let King Saul go. Waiting to become king wasn't easy, and sometimes it was even scary. But David tried his best to do everything God told him to do, and as he obeyed, God gave him hope that good things were coming. Flash forward. Many years later, and in God's perfect timing, God made David king. Even as king, David kept obeying God by worshiping him, helping the people who lived in his kingdom, and praying all the time. But David wasn't perfect. There were times when he did wrong things without thinking about what God wanted. He hurt other people and even tried to cover up the wrong things he had done. But in Psalm 32, we can read where David talked to God and said, Lord, I prayed to you again and again, but I did not talk about my sins. So I only became more miserable. But then I decided to confess my sins to the Lord. I stopped hiding my guilt and told you about my sins and you forgave them all. David was so happy that God had forgiven him, and from then on he did his best to obey him. Because when we obey God, it not only makes us feel good, it also gives us hope that God will do good things. It never gets old watching the Bible come to life like that. Flashing back to God's Word helps us to become pros at hope. Now it's time for us to take Rose's situation and run it through our prototype, or as we like to call it, PRO. P-R-O stands for Pray, Remember, Obey. Just like Bro, there were times when David was feeling hopeless. He found himself in some pretty scary situations. But let's show Ro and our audience how David went pro. Computer, access the prototype for hope. As you can see, the formula that David followed was this, pray, remember, obey. David prayed to God a lot, and when David finally told God he was sorry for the wrong things he had done, it made him not feel so miserable anymore. And it helped him see that God forgave him. Absolutely. It wasn't always easy for David to do the right thing, especially when he was waiting to become king. But when he remembered how much God loved him and that God had made him a good promise, it gave him hope that good things were coming. And now for the last part of our formula, obey. Even though David wasn't perfect, God saw that his heart wanted to do what was right. And each time that he obeyed, God gave David hope that he was going to do good things. Doing these three things will make anyone a pro at hope. David's story helped us to take a little deeper look into how God gives us hope as we obey him. So let's all say that together now. Everybody say this after me. God gives me hope. God gives me hope. As I obey. As I obey. Great job. When we have messed up or are faced with a choice to do the wrong thing, we can pray and talk to God about it. We can remember his promises to forgive and help us, and we can do our best to obey everything he says to do. Because when we obey, God will give us hope. And that can be true for Ro if he goes pro like David did. This is my new favorite latest and greatest technology breakthrough called the Future Memory Bank. This is where we can send our memories to the future for the next time we need hope. When we apply the PRO formula to what Ro sent us and upload it to his future memories, we'll get to flash forward and hear what his life could look like 10 years in the future. Computer Access Future Memory Bank. Hey there, Future Ro here, coming to you from the Future Memory Bank. I made it to where I am today thanks to your PRO formula all those years back. 
After watching David's story, I knew that I couldn't take back my choice to do the wrong thing, but I realized that I could make it right by telling my mom the truth. When I did, she was very proud of me for telling the truth, but she did end up taking my virtual reality games away for a week. There were other times where I was tempted to do the wrong thing, but I would pray and ask God for help. I would also look at God's word to remember what he says to do. Then I would obey what God said, even when I didn't feel like it. When I did, God would give me so much hope that he was going to do good things in my life. Things are looking really good here in 3130. Thanks again and keep helping others go pro. Flashing back to you guys, Future Row out. Wow, I can't wait for our viewer to see their life 10 years from now. God is going to do good things in their future, all because of pro. Praying, remembering, and obeying will help them to have hope. God gives us all hope, and when we put any circumstance through the proven PRO formula, we'll find ourselves being sure that God will do good things. Now, another thing we can do to fill ourselves with hope is to remember the promises of God by singing a worship song. When we sing worship songs, we're not just saying words to music. We're actually helping ourselves remember that God's promises are for us every day. In this next song, we're going to be singing all about how God has our future under control, and that gives us hope. Let's sing. Yeah.
I love that song. It's such a great way to remember that we may not see it yet, but God is working, and that gives us hope. Well, it looks like we're out of time on our show for today. If today's the first time you've tuned in, we always end our show by praying to God. Everyone, bow your heads, close your eyes, and let's all talk to God together right now. Dear God, thank you for giving us hope. We are sure that you will do good things for us because you love us. In every situation we face, help us pray, remember, and obey. We love you so much. Amen. And with that, we're signing off. Thanks for tuning in. When we were planning this show, I knew our future glasses were next level, but whoa, they really helped us understand that when we do the next right thing today by going pro, our future will be bright because of the hope we have in Jesus. Ro knew lying to his mom all those years ago was not the right thing for himself his relationship with his mom or his relationship with God. And because Roe confessed to his mom and apologized, he felt better knowing he did the right thing by obeying God who tells us not to lie. And since Roe chose to obey God and tell the truth, God blessed Roe and his relationship with his mom was better off. We still have tons to talk about when it comes to the good things God wants to do in your life. You will keep learning together in small groups if you are here with us live, or if you're joining us online by checking out our parent guide. You can find the link here. I hope you're starting to understand more about how you can have hope when you choose to use Pro in your life. See you next week for episode seven of Flash Forward. We're cooking up something really great for you. Bye. No, it's not you, just wave at the camera.